So, so today's video, as the mist rolls in, um, where am I? Atlantic coast, They're quite high up. Um, yeah, gonna enjoy this one. This place is fantastic. Well, um, where am I? West coast, Spain, northwest coast, Galician coast. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm heading up this coast today, uh, having spent the night with Chloe near Pontevedra, which was really lovely. Uh, yeah, it was great. That was catching up with your daughter and she was walking the Camino and uh, heading towards Santiago. And I'm just bimbling my way slowly up the coast, as I say, I've got about three days on this bit of coast. Not even before. Before I head into Santander uh, for the last bit of this trip and the route back to Plymouth. Um, on the boat, of course. So the weather's still holding. Apparently it's supposed to break uh, on Saturday with some rain um, well we'll see uh, for the last week and a bit it's been very very hot it's been lovely um, not too bad on the bike uh, quite cool uh, but poor old Chloe walking has really taken the brunt of the heat and it's been very very hot um, but that's I've, I've discussed this before um, we, we're not used to this because we live in a climate that's quite temperate and if we get a hot day we all rush out to the beach and burn and might only last a day or two days newspapers go mad with Britain you know, heat wave hotter than Mallorca and all this crap it was normal out here it's, it's normal um, but they, they, they work differently to what we do. I mean, they get up at the crack of dawn and do all the jobs. You know, they'll be streaming at six o'clock in the morning. But then they'll go, the, you know, have a sleep, a siesta in the afternoon when it's at its hottest, because only is what they say. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun, and it's very true. That's what we do. So, uh, so yeah, so um, I say on the Atlantic coast now, it's a little cooler because you've got the Atlantic Ocean, which of course is, is colder water. Um, whereas in the interior, sort of inland from here, it's been extremely hot. And um, I'm heading up to um, an Airbnb today, which uh, I'm not overly, overly sure about. <laughs> it's, it's right on the coast, um, but I don't think there's any parking with it. I, I've, I've tried to communicate and, and find out, but I, I don't. I think the parking is, is on the road, which I'm not. Mm not overly happy about but I can't do anything about that um, and and the cost of the Airbnbs are up from literally from um, where should I say from um, oh bugger well Pontevedra um, going up once you come out of Portugal into Spain up the coast the property prices for Airbnb do get up quite high Although I've, I've still managed to get some uh, for about 50 quid a night. Um, so I've got them as cheap as I can. Uh, last night was an expensive one, the most expensive I've paid, but it was for the two of us. And it was 80 quid, um, which initially I thought was quite a lot of money. But then when we got there, and you'll see some pictures, uh, it was incredible. I mean, we had a swimming pool. At the bottom of the garden was the Camino. I mean, it was the walk along the river. In fact, Chloe had walked past and gone into Pontevedra because she didn't want to miss any of the walk. Uh, a lot of people cheat, um, get buses and get on and off and get their stamped, uh, their passport stamped and get back on the bus and off they go to the next stamping point, which is a real cheat. And then when they get to Santiago, they get a certificate to say they've walked it, but in fact they haven't. So Chloe has walked it all the way from Faro, or is walking it all the way from Faro, and she walked past my Airbnb to Pontevedra 
um, then went shopping on my behalf, on my, her behalf, and got a taxi back from Pontevedra back down the Camino again to where I was staying and uh, spent the night. And then this morning, the plan was to get a taxi from the B&B back to Pontevedra. So in, in fact, what she'd done is she'd walked it, but she'd got a taxi back and then a taxi back. So she actually was going to get dropped off in the, by the taxi at the point that she'd finished walking the day before. What transpired was that the fact the taxi wasn't booked by the by the owner of the, of the Airbnb. He didn't book it, even though Chloe asked him if he could book it for half past six. He said, "No, that's a crazy timing. Mean, I'm not. I'm not booking it." You know, I, I, they got lost in translation. Chloe's it's, um, Spanish is quite good, but somehow down the line, he was like laughing and joking and saying. Mm. So when we went to bed last night, she wasn't sure whether she was going to get a taxi or not. As it transpired this morning, when she woke up at half past six, ready to go, there was no taxi. Uh, the reason there was no taxi is because the owner of the B&B took her in his own car, at his own expense, to Pontevedra. How incredible is that? I mean, how nice is that? So when I consider that that was the dearest place we stayed at, um, let's give you a couple of little things here. As soon as I arrived there, I was given a tapas. Uh, as I said, there was a swimming pool. There was a river at the bottom of the garden we could dunk in, and we did. Um, we had dinner there, um, everything was beautiful, clean. They left us breakfast, so rolls and stuff like that. Um, and then they gave Chloe the taxi ride, so um, 80 quid, that was just brilliant. So yeah, so that's uh, that was where we were, Ponte Vedra. And as I say, I'm now working my way up the coast. Um, found this lovely beach, nobody on it. Well, actually there is one person all the way over there, my dog. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, and I think there's more up the coast like this, but I'm staying, as I say, further up the coast um, at a B&B um, oh, that's practically on the water's edge. So we'll see. So I'll see you, I'll see you there. Well, I had to, I had to stop again because, um, wow, I mean, look at it. It's uh, stunning, the Galician coast, Galician coast. Absolutely stunning. I, I'm. I'm well, I'm blown away, actually. I didn't think it was uh, quite as spectacular as this, but it's absolutely... Uh, well, it's like, like, like Côte d'Azur. It's just beautiful. So, yeah, beach after beach after beach. And it's a Tuesday, there's nobody about, so... I might get a swim later. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. Well, I always manage to find the scenic stuff. I could just come over this mountain. Uh, and heading down to the sea. It's just down there in the Atlantic. But uh, this is incredible. I'm actually standing on a dam. I'll take some more pictures and put those alongside. Wow, this thing gets in more and more incredible. Forgive my dress, it's <laughs> so hot. <laughs> Stripping off on the bike. Look at this, this is just amazing. And that's the ocean behind me there. There is the Atlantic. Uh, but I've actually just come over these mountains behind me, which are incredible. Apologies for the wind. Yeah, okay, let's uh, carry on. Oh, it's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, I've just, I say, I've just come over this mountain, took the back roads as I always do, and found this road leading to down there. This is where I'm staying. I'm actually staying. Corner, so. Anyway, I'm still early, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm always early. We don't have to travel very far today, I literally just a few miles. So, yeah, I, I am way ahead of time. How spectacular is this? I've not seen anything like this since I was in uh, Monaco, really. It's beautiful. Right, as this kind of this is the third update of the day. Um, come on, I'm glowing. It's, it is warm here, but it's pretty handsome. So I've arrived um, in Ezrae, I think it's called, Ezrae, or something like that. And I've arrived to this most beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful apartment. I, I mean, I've done it again. I've kind of just absolutely smacked it again. Um, it's just stunning, but get this. This is my front door. Let me show you outside my front door. 
Let me show you what I've got outside my front door. This is my table. That's what I've got outside my front door. So I am literally right on the beach. The beach is right behind me. In fact, that's where I'm going now. I'm going down the beach. Ah, I seem to have got the knack of getting Airbnbs just right. Um, this is just, ah, this is incredible. I mean, and there's nobody here. Well, I say there's nobody here. There's, there's a handful of people here. I mean, the beach. There's a beach here with nobody on it. And then there's a the far beach, which is really sand, total sand, white sand, um, with about, I don't know, 15 people on it, I think. Um, I mean, it's just the most beautiful, beautiful place. Galicia, okay, the Galician coast. Um, gonna come here, come here this time of year, because nobody's here. They don't arrive until July, apparently. It's really weird. So, but the restaurants, uh, not that I'm gonna use them because I don't, I don't like, I, I keep it, I'm trying to keep it as cheap as I can. Okay, we're back online and uh, yeah, awesome. Hola. It's just beautiful, beautiful. The sea is just something else here. It's just, wow, what is it? It's incredible. Um, it's Atlantic. But it's like the Atlantic way, way south, so it's actually quite warm. Um, in fact, very warm. Um, it's just beautiful. And there's a few people on the beach, and obviously local people that have arrived. But generally speaking, this is really quiet. I mean, I, I could imagine in the summer, this is like manic. But this time of year, there's nobody here. It's just absolutely awesome. So, uh, yeah, again, I seem to have found a really, really lovely place. Um, so I'm delighted about it. That was, a, that was lovely. Yeah. I see Atlantic, like I've Kevin not really kind of known it. It was just absolutely awesome. So, so lovely. Uh, I've got sandy feet now, so I need to kind of wash them off somewhere. I'm not sure where before I get back into the apartment. Um, yeah, so, I seem to have landed on my feet here. I seem to have got myself um, <laughs> another great Airbnb. Um, yeah, so, I, I just I've never been here. I've never been to this part of Spain. And I have to say, it's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, delighted with it all. Delighted.